friends and alums of LaSalle College High School, hello there. This is Bill Wasilenko, and welcome to the 2021 season. Our explorers have a really challenging and exciting schedule with some great road games and should be a very interesting season ahead of us. Before we go through the schedule, just a reminder to purchase your copy of the LaSalle Football Almanac, which will be available at all home games and team events. You can also order it through the mail, and I'll let you know how to do that at the end of this video. In this week-by-week -week rundown, you'll see some great plays from past games with these rivals. So let's go! First of all, a scrimmage on Saturday, August 21st at 10.30 a.m. on Flannery Field against the Redskins of Neshaminy High School. Over the years, LaSalle has scrimmaged Neshaminy quite often, but the old-timers remember the tough games played between the two schools in the 60s when Neshaminy was a national power. That will be the only scrimmage prior to the start of the season, so come out and see what the boys have as they prepare for the campaign. The season opens up on Friday, August 27th at 6 p.m. when LaSalle travels to Harrisburg to take on the Crusaders of the other Bishop McDevitt High School. The last time LaSalle played the Crusaders was in 1943, and the school was called Harrisburg Catholic at the time. The name was changed in 1957 to honor its founder, Bishop Philip McDevitt, who just happened to be a member of LaSalle's class of 1877 and who was a member of the LaSalle Hall of Fame. Bishop McDevitt has always had a strong football program, so this will be a great test for the blue and gold. The boys stay on the road for a 6 p.m. game against the Friars of Malvern Prep on Labor Day Friday, September 3rd. The venue? We're going down the shore to Cary Stadium in Ocean City. The only other time that LaSalle played in OC was in 1926 when they shellacked Ocean City High School by the score of 45 to nothing. The game against the Friars will be a lot closer than that as Malvern has the strongest program in the Interact League. Come down early, hit the beach, and enjoy the game just off the boardwalk at 6th Street. The excitement picks up the following week during homecoming weekend. On Friday, September 10th, be sure to come to the school to see the induction of the 2009 state champions. They will become the fifth football team to be inducted into the Hall of Athletics, joining the teams from 1955, 1957, 1989, and 1996. It will be a packed house and a lot of football alums are planning to attend, so come and start your own mini reunion on Friday night. On Saturday, September 11th, homecoming events continue. Check the school calendar for all of the activities in the morning and early afternoon. The feature event of the day is the homecoming game at 1 p.m. at Springfield High School against Imhotep Charter. The Panthers are always big and fast, and this is just another tough game to prepare the Explorers for their Catholic League battles. The fourth game of the season will see the Blue and Gold take on the Fords of the Haverford School on Friday, September 17th at 8 p.m. at Wissahickon High School. Haverford and LaSalle have met a few times recently, and those games have been high-scoring affairs. So look for the scoreboard to be lighting up like an old pinball machine as these two teams do battle. The fifth and final non-league game will take place on Saturday, September 25th at 1 p.m. at Whittles Field in Owings Mills, Maryland against the McDonough School, a recent rival during the decade of the 2010s. The Eagles of McDonough have a great football program as well. This game will certainly provide a final test for the Explorers prior to league play. The excitement of the first five weeks of the season now gives way to the longtime rivalries of league opponents. And first up are the defending state champion Hawks of St. Joe's Prep. The game will be played on Saturday, October 2 at 3 p.m. And the site? None other than one of the most hallowed gridirons in the country, Franklin Field, on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania. 
LaSalle had won three city title games on that field and will be looking to turn around their fortunes against the prep, as both teams will really be up for this game at Franklin Field before a big crowd. The Cahillites of Roman Catholic will battle the blue and gold next at Springfield High School on Saturday, October 9th at 1 p.m. Roman was the opponent in LaSalle's first game ever in 1903. And though LaSalle has had the upper hand in recent years, don't take the Cahillites lightly, as they always have some great skill position players who can dominate a game. The following weekend is a bye week for LaSalle probably at a really good time of the year prior to two more league games and then the playoffs. The boys are back in action on Friday night, October 22nd at 6 p.m. as they go into the heart of Northeast Philly against the Crusaders of Father Judge. Judge chose to play spring football the past season and that broke the continuous rivalry between the two schools that started in 1956. The game is virtually on Judge's campus at the Ramp Athletic Complex in front of the school. Yet they're early to get a seat as there are limited stands at the field. The final regular season game is also senior night on Friday, October 29th as LaSalle hosts the Vikings of Archbishop Wood at Wissahickon High School at 7 p.m. The Vikings were dismantled by the Explorers last season, but they have been bolstered by the transfer of several Bishop McDevitt players due to McDevitt's closing. Wood is now in the 6A bracket, and these two teams could be meeting in the playoffs as well. Well, there you have it, a rundown of the schedule for the 107th season of LaSalle football. Get to the games this year or follow the games on Bob Long Sports. And if you want to know everything that happened in the previous 106 seasons, pick up a copy of the LaSalle Football Almanac on sale at football events. Here's how you can order the Almanac by mail.